to get a curiosity today in our uh, challenging world with so much information, uh, also in the media, but also for the end users, of course, having uh, information from sensors, we're trying to give some clarity in order to accurate this decision. There's a lot of information coming from sensors, from uh, air, maritime, uh, also, of course, land, uh, digital information, and the end user at the end has to integrate those information and take a decision how to act. We're in control, believe that we can bring something new to the market using our electrical optical payload together with this smart package of uh, AI that can give actually accurate the decisions that the end user can take in his call. The Controp's portfolio allows us to bring solutions also for maritime, naval, land, area. So actually we are creating kind of a multi-domain solution, not just giving a sensor for a specific mission, but creating a multi-domain, multi-layer solution, integrating all the information together and giving to the end user control in the vicinity and the scenario that he has to act for. A lot of companies produce electro-optical payloads all around the world, coming with a large payload, 15, 16 inch, with a, a good surveillance capability. So we've asked ourselves in Conto that we have about 40 years of, uh, of experience working together with our mother company, Rafael, uh, of how we can bring a new message to the world of the, those payload of the 15, 16 inch. So actually we create a very sophisticated payload together with an AI packet inside and special capabilities outside the surveillance uh, arena that bring to the end user a precise and accurate information capability that can be used on multiple platforms, land platform, and even maritime. In these days, the operators are absorbing a large amount of information in each moment they are working. There are a, a lot of different sensors that they are facing, like radars, like EO systems, like RF, SIGINT, ELINT, a lot, a lot of information, an enormous and overwhelming amount of information flowing to the operators, and the operators need to take a decision very, very fast, whether it's a threat or not. The AI capabilities taking into consideration classification and identification of the target can give him the ability to take the decision quickly. He will know whether it's a jet ski, a boat, a man with a rifle, or just a cat or a donkey. And then he will decide whether it's a threat or not, whether to call like some kind of a force to encounter the target, the classification process will take place very quickly for him, and then he will take the right decision relatively fast. Globalization as a buzzword is something that we took into consideration when we uh, started to talk about our strategy. We understood that at, the, at this stage, each country wants to have local capabilities, whether it's for maintenance, pre-sale, after-sale support, and even local production. So once we are trained of doing the transfer of technology, we understand that it's part of the strategy. We are targeting local partners, local OEMs to partner with us and giving the end user the quick response that he needs to handle all the threats, whether it's in during Corona with no one can travel or in other occasions whatsoever.